Okay, so now we're gonna work on long bows. And long bows are great because that's when you really get a chance to work on the kind of sound you're gonna make, okay? Um, some basics is when I play with the bow, I'm not pressing. What I'm doing is I'm letting my arm be really heavy and it's the weight of my arm that creates the sound. So what we wanna do is we wanna kind of balance three things here, which is the weight of my arm, how fast I go, and where I'm putting it uh, between the fingerboard and the, and the bridge. So let's try some long notes. First on the C string. Now my right arm is feeling nice and heavy. I'm not pushing or anything, doing anything ex extra for that. You want to tilt your bow with the wood facing you just a little bit. You never want to have the hair facing you. So let's always be sure that we have the bow facing us. Ideally you want to use most of the, most of the hair on your bow, but it's okay to have it tilted just a little bit. So let's play a couple of long bows. We're going to start with the C string. One, two, three, Okay. So I want you to notice that when I played the quarter notes, I didn't use as much bow. What I'm trying to do is keep a consistent speed. So if you have something twice as long, you're going to use twice as much bow, but only half as long, only half as much bow. That way you don't get a funny sound in between. So for instance, I'm going to show you what happens if you use too much bow. <laughs> Did you hear that? It suddenly went really fuzzy. But if you use the proper amount of bow, you'll get a nice clean sound like this. So let's keep that in mind. Half the bow for half the length of the note, okay? Let's try doing long bows, maybe a slightly different exercise. This time we're gonna start at, on the top string, the A string. Ready? One, two, three, four. So that's how you play on four different strings. I also want you to see what happens with my arm here. When I go from one strength into the next, I do need to rotate my arm a little bit. And I rotate it from the shoulder and not do something odd like this. So try and keep everything in a line. I always try and also remember to try and keep my shoulders down as much as possible. And if you have a chance to look in a mirror, you can probably see when you're doing it correctly and when it looks natural and not odd. So I would suggest that. So there we have it, your long bows.